Oh, welcome back everybody to the Grim SMP. Today, I just got done building my ice farm. It is a 32 by 32, so we get 16 stacks of ice when it's fully formed. So, nothing fancy, just, you know, standard ice farm in the bedrock edition. So I'm just going to get me some ice and enjoy this awesome Minecraft music. All right, and welcome back. So, you can see we harvest all the ice pretty much, and then some. And the main reason I need ice is so I can start working on the ice bridges in the nether for myself, at least. So, we're gonna go ahead and make up some more packed ice. We'll throw this back there. I just named it Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Actually, I should probably take it back and mend it, but yeah, I will. So the other thing that I've done in between episodes is I fought the Wither. I uh, recorded some of the footage, but because I planned the switch, um, there was a lot of black lag and the footage is mm, not really usable. So all I can really show off is where I fought it and show all the destructive damage that it caused is of course so i will check back in in one second all right before i run over to the other spot in the nether though hey since i'm going oops since i'm going this way i might as well do this up it's only two stacks of packed ice so i'll get some of this built in between episodes hopefully and then I gotta start labeling all my bridges and uh, tunnels because some of them well <laughs> are getting difficult to remember so I did uh, I have a portal or a highway with a 
railroad track or minecart track out to my raid farm. Well, out to the raid pillager outpost to start the raid farm back at my base. So, let me do a little time skip and BRB. Alright, and here is the destruction. I was going to try to get some uh, wither roses, but uh, that didn't work out. I tried the uh, Silent Whispers spawn and bedrock thing, and it didn't work, of course. So, you can see lots and lots and lots of damage, and of course, block lag. So, it's very, very horrendous on the switch. You see through there, he came through here, and I think I beat him right here. Ah, that was very, very painful. And of course I blocked all the lava up because why would I want all the lava out here? So, and you can see, oh, let's get rid of these guys real quick. <laughs> all the way through here, all the way through here. Hope I didn't patch that lava up. And I think it exposed seven or eight ancient debris. So I guess that's one benefit is we got some more ancient debris. So one wither done. I've got enough to do another one, but ooh, I don't know. I gotta find a better way to do it um, here. So, all right. And let's go back to the island. Time skip one more time. All right, welcome back to the island. So, uh, ice farm is that one, the top one. Let's go ahead and flip that switch. So that one's done. All right, so that one was the ice farm, of course. We can bust that out of there now, finally. Let's get out of there. All right, squid farm, the raid farm, and the fish farm. So, if you've watched my shorts, you'll have seen the raid farm. And then the squid farm. And fish farm. I can kind of quickly show off all three of them because they're all in my industrial district. So, again, I am doing shorts. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. They're fun and offer a unique challenge. So... Okay, so over there is our fish farm. It's just a basic uh, spawn fishies. Boom, boom, they fall to where they need to fall to. <laughs> uh, and then the squid farm is, again, just another basic squid farm. Nothing too fancy. I did start installing uh, sand, soul sand, because it works on the fish farm, so hey, it works on the squid farm. And then we just come up here, watch the squid fall, and if they're taking too long or at nighttime, I just have boom booms, so I can shoot the uh, drowns and squids. So, and then the minecarts down here going back and forth. So, there's that one. And next on the list is the raid farm. And then I did extend this out even more. Oh, I made the uh, kelp farm and bone meal farm. So I do have more expansions going through eventually. And then up here is just an item sorter with all the raid drops and our farmer villager right there and then of course the platform for them to spawn up on and the trident killer to boom 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 and then last but not least is the fish farm so we've got our minecart with hopper down there going back and forth as you can sort of see there you go and this is very productive i did just empty it out except for the bones I'm use, trying to use it mostly for the bones, but hey, the fish is a nice added uh, bonus because I trade them with our farmer villagers. So and then we just come up here and you'll see fishies spawning. 
and then they just boom, 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 jump, float, eventually go to the magma cubes, and our mind can't help collects them. So, as you can see, fishy is spawning, lots of tropical fish, of course, and I'm still going to work on the blue axolotl, so I will probably be capturing a lot of the tropical fish. Other than that, I've just been mining a bunch, so... I showed those off in some of the short videos and challenges, of course. So again, check those out. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I will start working on some more projects over here. So we could probably turn off all these lights again. And here's our to-do list again. This will probably be an episode I found Deep Dark, but not Ancient City. This will probably be an episode along with something else. I did find some slime, but not a slime chunk. And then I've been working on this one, so I might consider that one pretty much done. And then we just got to do the North Ocean Monument and the storage building and then streams. So, thanks for tuning in. Please enjoy my other content as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.